in this video lecture i have discussed about the length contraction that how it basically change as a result of the relative motion uh, the basic idea of frame of reference and uh, the observer and event is discussed in this particular section of the video so this length contraction comes into the special theory of relativity chapter in which basically uh, before the uh, length contraction uh, two more topics comes which are important and the information of that is also important that is uh, Galilean transformation and Lorentz transformation how basically these two transformation are important uh, that is because uh, uh, as you know that uh, one basically observe a particular event in his frame of reference and it might be its uh, observation might be different into the other frame so for that uh, Lorentz transformation and Galilean transformation we use so a basic idea of the Galilean transformation is shown here uh, sometimes basically what happens is student might be confused that from these equations are coming a set of equations are coming uh, of the Galilean transformation so that point is discussed and uh, how basically uh, length of, an, of a road basically change as a result when we increase the relative velocity relative velocity is of s prime frame with respect to s that is a stationary frame so here these basic points are discussed so in this video lecture i will discuss about the length contraction and this topic comes into the under the special theory of relativity chapter so before i go into the detail of length contraction and its related uh, some example i want to describe about the frame of reference first of all that what is a frame of reference so frame of reference basically a coordinate system in which an observer define the event so here this is x axis this y axis and z axis and this is right now i'm saying s frame O is an observer into the S frame and S frame is in rest with respect to the another frame that is S prime frame moving with relative velocity V with respect to S or you can say with respect to the observer O. This is X prime axis Y prime and this one is the z prime axis and motion of this s prime frame is along the positive x axis this is positive x axis right you can mention here this clearly so this is positive x axis so motion of this s prime frame relative to the s is along positive x axis along the x direction so here frame of references are inertial the frame of references which we have considered here s and s prime are inertial inertial means that both frame s and s prime follow the newton's first law law of inertia so there is no acceleration in between s and s prime so at any time t the difference between this s and s prime or you can say the between the observer o and o prime that will be v and t so this is the distance in between these two observer right so here o prime is the observer in s prime frame s prime frame moving along the positive axis with respect to s with this relative velocity v right vt is the distance between o and o prime observer at any time t 
so if uh, any event occur into the s prime frame at this p point the coordinate of this event according to the o prime observer will be x prime y prime z prime and t prime and the coordinate according to the observer o for this event will be x y z and t so o observer define this event in terms of these coordinates x y z and t and the o prime observer will define this event into the prime frame with these coordinate x prime y prime z prime and t prime so this is the basic of uh, for the length contraction that we have two frame of references and both frames are inertial and observer at the center of this coordinate system right and we have assumed here that s prime frame is moving along the positive x direction i want to mention here a minor point that is basically related to the galilean transformation actually many times a student get confused that they don't know from where galilean equation came actually these two transformation galilean transformation and lorentz transformation with the help of these uh, transformation one observer can transform one coordinate system into the other so with the help of this transformation one event can be transformed into the other coordinate system or you can say that how the observer second observer is observer observing that particular event so this is the point of uh, related to the galilean transformation but uh, as you see here or look in that i have written here vt this distance between o and o prime observer for this particular event i have mentioned the distance of this event for the observer o will be x like this so this will be along the x axis the distance will be x and for the s prime observer that is o prime the distance of this particular event will be x prime so if i consider only the uh, only this uh, coordinate x coordinate because height of this event in this particular frame a will be y prime and according to this observer that will also y so y is equal to y prime means height will remain same the change in uh, which coordinate basically comes it depends upon the direction of the s prime frame so relative motion between s and s prime here we have considered that s prime frame is moving along the positive x direction so the change will come in which coordinate the change come basically into the x coordinate y and z will remain same so if i talk about the galilean transformation for a while so you will see here that this x is equal to from here and to this point and on the other hand x prime is this distance and vt is this one from here to this distance of the observer so you can say this x is sum of these x prime and vt vt plus x prime is equal to x so i am writing this x is equal to x prime plus vt right y is equal to y prime z is equal to z prime and t is equal to t prime so if you see this equation carefully these are just a transformation you can write x in terms of x prime y is equal to y prime z is equal to z prime t is equal to t prime on other hand you can also write that x prime is equal to this x minus vt 
सो एक्स प्राइम इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस वी टी वाई प्राइम इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड प्राइम इज इक्वल टू जेड टी प्राइम इज इक्वल टू टी दिस इज दी फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ इक्वेशन बेसिकली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर मैनी टाइम्स स्टूडेंट गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट फ्रॉम दिज इक्वेशन केम सो माई पॉइंट इज टेलिंग अबाउट ओनली दिज इक्वेशन दैट दिज इक्वेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम दिस पिक्चर सो दिस एक्स एक्स प्राइम एंड वी टी सो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दिज वी डिफाइन बाई दिस वे एंड फ्रॉम दियर वन कैन फाइंड आउट ऑल दिज इक्वेशन सो दिज इक्वेशन ऑफ सेट्स आर नोन एज गैलीलियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन गैलीलियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मीन्स एज आई सेड अर्लियर दैट टू वी आर बेसिकली ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग ए एन इवेंट फ्रॉम वन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम टू दी अदर वट इज इट मीन्स बेसिकली इट मीन्स दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द रिलेटिव मोशन वी सी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन इन आवर प्रेम्स लाइक एस प्राइम प्रेम इज मूविंग विद दिस फेलोसिटी वी एंड एस इज स्टेशनरी विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस वन एस ऑब्जर्वर दिस ओ ऑब्जर्वर सी दिस पर्टिकुलर इवेंट इन हीच फ्रेम ऑफ रिफरेंस द ऑब्जर्वेशन माइट बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस ऑब्जर्वर ओ प्राइम सो हाउ दिस ओ प्राइम ऑब्जर्व दिस पर्टिकुलर इवेंट दैट कैन बी बेसिकली ट्रांसफॉर्म विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दोज इक्वेशन ऑफ सेट विच वी सेज दैट दिस इज गैलीलियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और लोरेन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो फ्रॉम दिस वन कैन बेसिकली एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो दिस इज दी बेसिक आइडिया इन ऑफ स्पेशल थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी बट द पॉइंट इज दिज ऑब्जर्वेशन आर अफेक्टिव ओनली वेन वी इज कंपेरेबल टू दी सी वेन रिलेटिव स्पीड इज कंपेरेबल टू दी स्पीड ऑफ लाइफ वेर सी इज equal to 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second so here i am not going into the detail of galilean and lorentz transformation but these transformation are important uh, to understand the basic idea of this particular topic that is length contraction so here i told you that galilean transformation is this equations of set you can convert x in terms of x prime y y prime z z prime t is equal to t prime and here you can write x prime in terms of this y prime is equal to this z prime is equal to this t prime is equal to this so one can convert one coordinate system into the other with the help of galilean transformation and the next one is the lorentz transformation because uh, there was some problem with the galilean transformation and uh, it could not verify all the laws of sciences that uh, basically remain same because we know from the postulate of special theory of relativity that all the laws of basic retain same into all the inertial frames so there was some problem with the galilean transformation and that modified with the help of lorentz transformation so the only formula for the lorentz transformation how one can convert one coordinate system into the other so in lorentz transformation x prime is equal to x minus vt अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर अपॉन सी स्क्वायर वाई प्राइम इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड प्राइम इज इक्वल टू जेड एंड दिस कोऑर्डिनेट बेसिकली वी आर राइटिंग बाय एज्यूमिंग द सेम पिक्चर दैट एक्स प्राइम प्रेम एस प्राइम प्रेम इज मूविंग अलोंग द पॉजिटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन राइट विद द रिलेटिव स्पीड ऑफ वी t prime is equal to t minus x v upon c square upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square 
so the set of equations are known as lorentz transformation on when the s prime frame is moving along the positive x direction so s prime frame is moving along the positive x direction so the change will come only in which coordinate x coordinate so i am writing here this x prime is equal to x minus vt upon this vector and t prime is equal to t minus xp upon c square upon this vector so now how these equations are different here we have observed that earlier in Galilean transformation we were writing x prime is equal to x minus vt here one factor we introduce in Lorentz transformation that is square root 1 upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square sometimes this factor are denoted by the letter gamma and that is 1 upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square like this and in Galilean transformation t prime is equal to t that means at that time it was assumed that time is absolute there is no change into the time because of the relative motion between the two frames right but in the case of Lorentz transformation equations it is you can see clearly here that t is also changing and on the other hand inverse Lorentz transformation you can write inverse Lorentz transformation then v will be equal to minus v it means the frame is going in opposite direction according to the O prime so x will be equal to x prime plus v t prime upon a square root 1 minus v square upon c square y is equal to y prime and z is equal to z prime and now t is equal to t prime plus x prime v upon c square upon a square root 1 minus v square upon c square so these are equations in Lorentz transformation so these set of equations are known as Lorentz transformation this is inverse Lorentz transformation and this is for the positive x-axis and this set of equations are known as Galilean transformation now the topic of discussion is uh, Lorentz transformation so for the Lorentz transformation also for length contraction the topic of discussion is length contraction so as name indicate that in this particular topic what will happen length will be contracted so for that purpose again we have to make some these two relative frame of reference and here I can make this x axis this is z y axis and this is our s frame and observer is standing here you can see that this is observer o right in s frame and on the other hand the second observer that is in s prime frame here the next one is this is you can say O prime observer into the S prime frame and this axis is Y prime and this is about Z prime axis this one is X prime so this is our O prime observer and relative speed of this frame S prime frame is V now what is the situation situation is that we have a road or anything which has some length so for that I am considering here a road 
that is in s prime frame right so this is a road the the length of this road is l not right and this is the proper length in the s prime frames because road is kept into the s prime frame so the observer o prime this observer o prime will measure the length exactly right that is known as proper length l not is the proper length exact length and the coordinate of this i am saying this one according to this o prime observer is x1 prime is this distance and x2 prime is this distance from the observer o so l not you can define that this is equal to x2 prime minus x1 prime right and according to the observer o the coordinates of the end for this road will be for this he is saying that x1 right up to this length and for this end he is saying this is x2 right so according to the o prime observer he measure the uh, distance for the end of this road x1 prime for the first you can say this is a and you can say this is b and for the b end this measure x2 prime so actual length of this road will be x2 prime minus x1 prime and for the observer o he measure the coordinate of this end x1 and for the second end that is x2 so that measure length of this road l and that will be x2 minus x1 so this is the upper end length it will appear to the o observer who is in stationary frame with respect to the moving frame that is your s prime frame right so this is the description about it so here this is equation number 1 you can say and this is equation number 2 so now what you have to do you have to just put the value of x2 prime and x1 prime from the lorentz transformation and from the lorentz transformation as you have seen right now from lorentz transformation you know that x prime is equal to x minus vt upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square right and then after what you have to do now there are x2 prime and x1 prime so you can write it suppose this is x2 prime so you have to put here value x2 so x2 prime is equal to x2 minus vt upon this and similarly you can write x1 prime that will be equal to x1 minus vt upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square and further as a result the difference between these two that will be x2 prime minus x1 prime is equal to x2 minus vt upon this factor 1 minus v square upon c square minus this one x1 minus vt upon square root in 1 minus v square upon c square and when you will simplify it x2 minus vt minus x1 plus vt 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 cancel out so you will get x2 minus x1 upon this factor so in a proper way you can write that x2 prime minus x1 prime that is l not is equal to this x2 minus x1 upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square further x2 minus x1 you are saying that is l so this l x2 minus x1 will be 
L upon square root 1 minus V square upon C square. So L node is equal to you get this point result L node is equal to L node is equal to this L this is L upon E square root 1 minus V square upon C square. So further this L will be equal to L naught multiplied by this factor L naught 1 minus V square upon C square. So you are getting this result for the length contraction. So here L is equal to L naught square root 1 minus V square upon C square. Further you can analyze this result which you obtain for the length contraction. So you got the result that L is equal to L naught square root 1 minus V square upon C square. So from this result you can see that when V is equal to 0 0.5 6 c right then what will be the length this is our first case right second case is when v is equal to 0 0.8 c then length what will be the length say so third case when v is equal to c then what will be the length of the road right and v is what V we, we have considered here relative speed right of the S prime frame with respect to S. So this is S prime frame and uh, S prime frame is moving along the positive X direction with respect to S. So here I have considered the three case. So when V is equal to 0 0.6 C you can find the answer for this length if I consider length of the road is 1 meter so when v is equal to 0 0.8 c you put the value of L naught and v is equal to 0 0.8 c then after in third case v is equal to c and find out the length so this is first case second and third now L naught is equal to 1 so L is equal to 1 into 1 minus v square that is 0 0.6 square 6 c and upon c whole square of it right c c cancel out uh, one of the important point here in relativity special theory of relativity calculation numerical problems you don't need to put the value of c A value of c you have to put at the end of the solution so here you can find out the result that is 1 square root 1 minus 0 0.36 right and similarly for this one you can find out the result l is equal to 1 square root 1 minus this is 8 so that will be 0 0.8 c upon c c c cancel out so you will get this 0 0.64 and the difference and in the third case l is equal to that one meter length proper length and v is equal to c that is v one minus one so this is zero so my purpose here you can find out the 0 0.64 you can find out it L naught 1 0 0.36 right and here at this point when V is approaching to the C then that time L L the upper end length that becomes 0 it means that will seem uh, that will see like a point to the observer O so this is the observation for the length contraction in case right so this length will appear as a point to this observer if v is equal to the c right 
Right. So, other in numeric uh, example one, may, we can see here uh, related to this length contraction. In the length contraction, we have seen a formula that L is equal to L naught. square root 1 minus v square upon c square so this factor basically is in multiplication of the proper length right so here you can solve a numerical problem for an example a numerical problem is given that how fast would a rocket How fast would the rocket have to go? Have to go relative to an observer, relative to an observer, right? For its length, for its length. to be contracted to 99% of its length at rest so this is the point this is a numerical problem related to the length contraction where uh, what is given that uh, how fast would a rocket have to go relative to an observer for its length to be contracted to 99% of its length at rest. So uh, the question is basically related to the length contraction and we have to use this formula L is equal to L naught square root 1 minus V square upon C square. So, what is a moving frame? Rocket is a moving frame. Rockets have some length when it was in rest. Suppose that was L naught. Right? So, how fast it would go? That means they are asking about the relative velocity V. Relative to an observer for its length to be contracted to 99%. So, length contracted was seen to whom? It was seen the observer who was standing into the rest frame right so the situation is basically this one the observer is standing on the surface of earth right and here you can see that this is a spacecraft this is a spacecraft so when the spacecraft was at the surface of the earth its length was L naught now it is moving right into the space so how much its length basically will contract right so that uh, length they told in this question is 99% that length is contracted how much 99% of the original length 99% of its length at rest so length of this spacecraft in rest was L naught now it is contracted by 99% so this is the L so in this question L is given and L is 99% of L naught right and we have to find out what V so this you can write in this way L upon L naught is equal to 99 percent and what is the formula formula is this one L is equal to L naught a square root 1 minus V square upon C square which you can further write as in this way L upon L naught is equal to this 
factor is square root 1 minus v square upon c square this l naught is different so here when you will put the value of it so this l upon l naught that is equal to square root 1 minus v square upon c square right l upon l naught is this 99 percent is equal to square root 1 minus v square upon c square so you have to find out this v so for that what you have to do you have to take the square of both the side and as a result this will becomes 99 upon 100 square is equal to 1 minus v square upon c square and after simplification of it you will get v is equal to 0 0.141 c right so this is the answer of this particular question so this is one of the example related to the length contraction you can see other also right but the point is only this one that only uh, when you apply this formula l is equal to l naught square root 1 minus v square upon c square in this formula l naught is the proper length l is the upper end length v is the relative velocity and c is the speed of light right and don't try to put the value of c in between the numerical problem you have to put the value of c at the end if the question is demanding of it right thank you thanks for watching this video if you have any problem related to any concept you can message me below this video